humans need to be trained based on those small elements. An algorithm doesn't, not anymore. I would say that there are processes that have too many complexities for one human to do the timely decision. Maybe if you give that human enough time and maybe a group of humans, you can come up with the right decision in six months. But the problem now is that you don't have six months. You have 30 seconds. And I guess add in that stress. Um, and we always talk about decision fatigue on, on this podcast, right? So that human probably isn't even in the, the right state of mind to be making quality decisions when it matters most, mm -hmm. right? Fukushima is a great example. Mm -hmm. yeah. The decisions need to be made at 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. So you got to control cycle that at some point you're reaching a fatigue point that no Red Bull is going to give you the clarity yeah. to what do I do with a reactor that is beginning to burn, right? To melt. So if the power industry is outsourcing some of these critical decisions to AI, should we start looking at other critical decisions that should be outsourced to AI? Uh, look, I'm a big believer after, after that report, I started, I swing back to autonomous power plants. I thought that the future had to have autonomous power plants. With the work that I'm doing right now, which is taking a plant that has an operation paradigm, which was really valid in the late 90s, early 2000s, and making them operate like it was 2025, right? Um, you realize that the biggest secret there is the empowerment of people. 